trying to find a spot to set the camera and uh this is great great area this place is full of the arrowhead plant like i think it's potato something it's called you can see them they're all over the place in here all over and um it's a great swamp here it's a big finger of swamp there's a there's an edge on each side elevation changes on both sides and there's a there's a real big one in here that we know of and uh we found a couple of his rubs from this past year and uh let's zoom in and here comes nick through the swamp my man my man nick took a day off from school get out of the woods with me so here we are deep in the swamp and this stuff you gotta walk through this stuff sometimes island hopping to get to where you want to go and uh that's what it takes guys your feet's gonna get wet your pe your stuff's gonna get muddy uh to get after these mature animals sometimes you gotta you gotta you gotta do what you gotta do man so here comes big nick no they're using the shit out of this all mudded up there he is <laughs> Say hey, hi, Nick. Hey, what's up? <laughs> How comes you put the camera on that side of the tree? Huh? How comes you put the camera on that side of the tree? Uh, because it's facing facing down. And what I do is I get, I line my sticks up so they're right in front of me. So behind me is where I want the camera to, uh, to face. So when I'm setting my camera up, it's right in front of my face. I can point it down and paint it right at my face and that way I'm not reaching around and, and messing with the camera. So my way, which is easier for me, is this way. So uh, like I said, I'm not reaching around, trying to set the camera. It's easier, you could do that with somebody with you, but when you're by yourself, you have to get down, go check the camera, get down, go check the camera. It's just easier this way. Does the wind or the sun affect the way you're facing your camera? Yeah, I, it does. Um, unfortunately, I have to face this almost dead west. But if Nick pans around, there's enough cover where the sun won't have too much hindrance on the lens or the camera. Um, but I'm facing it towards the west, and I got to note that because the pictures I get, whatever deer it is traveling from, I want to notate what wind it is at that specific time. And you get multiple picks like that, and you can figure out wind directions and their travel directions and that will tell you if you get a morning pick of several bu a certain buck several times several mornings and a more and, a, and you you reference the wind that morning which way the wind that morning is well you can actually plan your hunts like that you can uh if it's a, if it's facing west and but uh, you get a buck picture and he's heading towards the south you got a northwest wind over his back well, you know that morning he's going to that certain bedding area. So keep that in mind. That's why I face, face our cameras in certain ways. Our bowl's over there. That's where our bedding is over there. It's pretty good bedding. We got a, a big one over there, as you guys see, where we just set the camera. Um, this is the one side of the bowl where we're not going in the middle of that bowl at all. We're going to take a bearing to the street and just follow that straight in straight out to the street that way we're not wandering all over the woods getting and then it avoids the scent even getting to that area what we'll do is when we hunt this we'll come in and almost j hook to where we want to go so nothing gets to them so keep that in mind entryways are key man good one there not bad at all brother first shed of the year boys walk right on it we walk right up on it man it's the other one's probably here somewhere but uh Nice shed, man. Nice pup.